Your message's goal is to create curiosity about what you're selling, nope, about what you may know, which might help your customer. You see, as a seller, we tend to believe, my job is to get a meeting, or we think, I need to qualify the potential customer by establishing need, building rapport, finding the pain, and building a relationship. All of that so that they will see I can solve their problem for them. But this is actually the wrong and very dangerous way to think about it. This is how marketers view the world, but it's not how a seller should. Here is why because the purpose of sales outreach is to establish if the other person, one, has a problem that you can fix, two, accepts that they have that problem, and three, feels a need to address it. That's the purpose of sales outreach, not to spread the word about your solution or your service and persuade people to consider buying it. That is marketing's goal. Okay, so let's say that you're reaching out to someone for the first time. A cold email, a cold call, or a cold LinkedIn message. Either way, your message's goal is to create curiosity, not about what you sell, instead about what you may know, which might help. Now, I know that you've been told, be specific about the problem that you solve and don't waste the prospect's time. Well, that's fine. Being specific about what you sell is great when you're communicating to people who are in the market to buy right now. They are ready to buy right now. That's like going fishing and the fish are jumping right into your boat. But there's a much larger portion of that market that is not ready to buy and gets missed by being direct about what you sell. Now, here's the worst part. A big portion of that majority will buy in the next three to eight to 12 months. These are the people who you want to get curious. So they'll invite you to have that conversation with them. A conversation about what your product or service does? No, a conversation about what it could mean to them. And that's the curiosity part. By being a little unclear and by teasing the value that you might represent to them, you are actually seen as neutral to your selfish goal, which is to sell. Now, if I've sparked your curiosity about this strategy, let's discuss it down in comments below. See you there, all the best.